All right, good afternoon everybody and welcome to another edition of What's Inside. Today I got a very common item you'll find on the street when you're out scrapping the vacuum cleaner. You know, there's a lot of controversy and talk about vacuum cleaners. Are they worth scrapping? Are they worth trying to resell? You know, everybody has their own opinion. Personally, all I do, cut that cord off and let it be. But for today, we're going to take one apart and have a look. Now, this is a Bissell Power Force Compact. Now, I actually done looked at this uh, <clears throat> particular model and the value of this. You can buy this vacuum cleaner for $44 at Walmart, brand new. Um, so the first thing I guess we should do is let's find out if it works. Okay. We got suction. Now, does that mean it's a good vacuum cleaner? There's nothing wrong with it. We can resell it? No. Because nine times out of ten, this is the reason why most vacuum cleaners are out on the street. You folks can see the little brush here in the front. As you can see, it no spinny spinny. The belt usually breaks in these, and that's why people usually throw them away. So, it's garbage to me. Can't even be used very well. Um, I did look up, the belt actually is only, I think it's $9 for a set of two. That's always think, I always think it's funny that you buy belts for a vacuum cleaner, and they usually come in pairs when you buy them. Um, they know they're going to break. But... Like I say, this one is broken. So, what's the first thing we're gonna do? We're gonna cut this cord off. After we unplugged it, of course. We're gonna take that, throw it off to the side. Now, the second thing I recommend doing is taking this tub off. This is the dirt collector. Now, sometimes there are goodies in here. So, I suggest taking them and dumping them out on something you know you never know what you could find in one of these whether it be earrings little pieces of jewelry maybe some change i got nothing but dirt so moving on now we're going to take this thing apart now there are two different methods used to take a vacuum cleaner apart uh, one of the most popular is to use a sledgehammer. Throw it on the ground, beat it daylights out until you get the electric motor out. Um, I am going to take this thing apart with the help of a cordless screwdriver. Okay, so let me start taking some of these screws out so we can get to the goodies. which is basically the electric motor in it. Okay, that's where the belt would actually ride, and as you see, it is broken. Okay, well, we got that off. Now all I could do is get the rest of this apart to get to the motor. And like I say, the fastest way to do this is with a sledgehammer. And it's a good way to release some stress. electric motor. Now, all vacuums are not created equally. Uh, some come apart really easy. Some are a little more complicated. This one, turns out, ain't too bad. So, clip my little wires there. There's the motor. There's the rest of the vacuum cleaner. Now, I am going to take 
and actually put this thing back together. Because I don't want it taking up space in my garbage can. So I will put it back together if I can get it lined up. And set it next to the garbage can. Coach together just as easy as it came apart. As you put these in the right place, I guess. That one goes there. And of course, I'm not putting all the screws back in it. Just to get it back together somewhat. So I got one piece to deal with. And there you have it, disassembled and reassembled. Now I got one thing I can put out at the garbage and get rid of. And what I have here is the electric motor. Of course, it's got the fan and everything on it, which for me to get a clean motor, can I get a hold of that in there? Well, maybe. I don't recommend doing this with your side cutters. <laughs> oh, it'd probably help if I had the right tools. All right, let me go get the right tools. Take the fan off. So let's take that off. Looks like I got a couple torque screws in there. Do I happen to have? Yes, I do. one's going to come all apart but that right there minus the little wires now that I could sell as a clean electric motor all right so there you have it I've got my insulated number two which is the cord which in order to get clean I gotta clip that off and of course I got to clip the plug in off which that in turn goes into a bucket because I get paid eight cents a pound for the plug-ins uh, I got a little extra mo a little electric motor uh, I'm gonna say two two and a half pounds maybe three pounds so that's what like 45 cents and I got a little piece of aluminum this is actually the fan blade and housing which usually these can be peeled apart you know, bust it apart, take the plastic off of it, and get the aluminum. And have a little bit of clean sheet aluminum. Which I'm not going to do. It's going to go into my pen tread pile. So, there you have it. Vacuum cleaner. Not a whole lot in it. Um, like I say, though, different models have... Uh, maybe a little bit bigger motor in them. The electric motor might be bigger. More cord. Uh, maybe some other components. Uh, might be a little more difficult to take apart. Like I say, the most preferred method for most scrappers is to use a hammer and just smash that thing apart. Uh, there ain't nothing wrong with that. It's a good way to release some aggression. Uh, 
generally you have to go chasing flying plastic parts all over the place but yep that's gonna do it anybody wondering what's inside a vacuum cleaner well there it is all right folks that's gonna do it for me so until next time